Morning, hope everybody is going well. I am coming to you live today because um, my computer isn't enjoying Zoom right now and my recordings aren't converting. So, love technology and um, I'm here just showing up anyway. So, this is the third time I've done this, so it should be pretty good. <laughs> Um, I hope you can tune in or watch the replay. Um, this week we're talking about support. So during this journey, there is three different things that we want to be doing and focusing on with support. Focusing on support for our new customers is really, really important. Supporting ourselves through this journey because we need our network of people to uh, help us as well to grow. And then we have supporting our new sharers and builders because as you start to grow your team, you will get your own sharers and builders that will be coming to you for questions. So support is a really a funny thing. It is a it is taken by the person receiving it as to how effective it is. Now you don't know this unless you're asking the right questions. So if someone, if you're reaching out to someone and it's just not quite in the way that they're enjoying it, then they'll think that the support is not that great. But if you've had a conversation about how they receive support, then uh, you'll know how to proceed with them and they will feel loved and supported. So these are questions you need to be asking as you're moving through this Let's start with supporting your new customers. Okay, so I do have a little checklist for you. Sometimes our customers just want their oils and that's totally okay because we have been the vehicle for them to get started in doTERRA and they're really excited just to get their oils and they're self-sufficient and they know how to Google and they love uh, learning on Pinterest or YouTube or whatever and they actually don't need or want your support. Now, doesn't mean to say you don't even try. It means to say that if you've done your due diligence in reaching out and offering wellness consults and sending them their appropriate password and login details and you've tried every means you can to, to, to contact them and they're still not responding, then bless and release. It's in their court and they know that you've tried. They've obviously seen what you've sent. and you can't do any more about that. You can't force a person to be supported by you and let them be. Just contact them every now and again saying, hey, I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you're going well with your oils. It's a statement. It's not a question and they don't feel obligated to respond. So you will have people like this and it's, it's, it's totally fine. Everyone has them. And as much as we might like to... Um, look at them and say, oh, can I do anything more? Sometimes it's not your decision. <laughs> okay, so a new customer support checklist. So day one, you should be sending out a welcome email. Feel free to copy and paste the one I sent you and just change the details. Obviously change the name at the end as well to make it, make it your own. Make sure you have given them their customer login and password because that's uh, what they really need to order again okay so day two we can send them a welcome text welcome to doTERRA here's a link to a Facebook group that I use and why um, and book a time in for their wellness consult now hopefully you should have done this at the workshop or your one-on-one -on -one and it should be already booked in but if not this is a really good chance because they're still excited and it's still fresh in their mind of what's going on now day 14 do the wellness consult. So this should be enough time that they've received their oils and hopefully uh, jumped in and had a look at the box and started playing around. And it should have brought up a few questions already. So this is a great time to be setting up their LRP and helping them move through the order system. I'll also identify them as a customer sharer or builder just by simply asking. Now, I like to just say, would you be open to having a workshop and sharing with some friends? This is a really easy question for me to identify whether they're a customer sharer or builder because what will happen is they'll say, oh, no, I don't, I just want oils, and that's a customer. If someone says, oh, yeah, yeah, I could do that. That would be fun. I'd love to do some hands-on learning. 
then that's a sharer. But if someone, if if you mention about the business and you can say, yeah, and you can be open to earning some commission as well, and they go, oh, no, 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 just the workshop, that's a sharer. But if they go, oh, yeah, that would be interesting, I'd love to hear more about that, then that's a potential builder, okay? So that one simple question is a really quick way for you to understand their level of learning. Do they only want to know about oils or are they interested in, in a little bit more? So you can ask questions to get the answers that you're needing to help them, all right? This is, this is how we support people is by asking them what they need, by asking the right questions. So with your new customers, also check in um, day 30, 60, 90, just regular check-ins basically. Hey, how are you going? Is there anything that you needed from me? Um, here's, a, here's a new oil that I liked. I thought you might be interested because of blah, blah, blah. So try and give them little bits of information. Tag them in relevant posts. Make sure they understand where to go to get um, accessories and, and books and apps and stuff. And support them as they they grow in their journey you don't have to do all the supporting here when a new customer signs up with doTERRA doTERRA sends them a email series so they can get drip fed information in their in their email okay uh, Kirsten has a newsletter that goes out as well and they can choose to have that as part of her team and Ness and Paul also have an email series which is again different um, which they can sign up to. So if someone loves to receive information email-wise, then by all means, we have ways and means. We don't have to be creating any of this stuff. And please understand that in the beginning that we don't need to recreate the wheel. It's, it's awesome that we can just tap into the resources that we already have in order to support our teams, okay? Now, we can help them with um, YouTube links to doTERRA. We can help people... Uh, seek out other leaders for other information about what they're interested in. For example, if you've got a foodie that's just joined for all the herb oils and the citruses, then you can send them stuff from Vanessa Jean's website. Um, if you've got someone that loves cleaning, then you can tap into other, other ways that people have used. It's, you don't have to keep it just in the group. You can seek out other ways to support your people. Um, and this is where doTERRA is different, okay? Supporting someone is the benefit of doTERRA. This is what makes us different for buying an essential oil off the shelf. It is the support that comes with that, all right? So if you're in a position where someone's loving the support and is receptive, then go for it. Just give them what they need by asking the right questions. Okay, so when it comes to supporting our sharers and builders, we have an enroller support checklist. Now, I use this as a conversation with someone to figure out what kind of uh, person that they want to be. Do they want to be a sharer or a builder? And you don't have to, they don't have to necessarily stick to one or the other, but in the beginning it's, it's easy for you to understand where they are at and to provide the correct support. So as an enroller, there are some things that you would be wanting to do, okay? And if you were to hand them this list and say, please check off the things that you would be happy to do as an enroller, then you would understand straight away. If they're only willing to do some of this stuff, um, then they are a sharer. If they're willing to do all of it, then that's a potential builder. Okay, that's, it's, it's a very a small difference. Now here's the checklist for this. You would be willing to give a welcome pack so you're creating the pack and giving it to your new customers, okay? You are willing to add and welcome them to Facebook groups. So tagging them and inviting them to uh, groups as you go is really important for their level of understanding. You would be the follow-up contact for their questions and everybody has questions, especially at the wellness consult and uh, in the early days when they just get started with essential oils. So you would be willing to be that person for them. You will touch base with them once they have their oils to see if they have questions. So this is the wellness consult, okay? Are you willing to undertake a wellness consult? You'll ensure that they know where to get their resources. So their apps, their 
their Facebook groups, their books, their accessories, and if necessary, an Empower Kit. You'll show them how to use their back office. Again, that's part of the wellness consult. You'll ensure that they know how to manage their LRP using points and commission. And you'll ensure enrollers have 100 PV in their cart at all times to receive commissions. We don't want to miss out. We've just done all this work. You, you want to get paid for what you're doing. And you'll support them if they want to have or share workshops. So if they want to learn how to do their workshops, you'll be there for them. And if they want to just host a workshop, you can do the workshop. And you'll help them set up their new customers in a structure for rank. Now we will cover uh, basics on placement another time, but it, this is really something that you need to understand. So that's your enroller support checklist. If you're willing to do all of those things, then you'll be building a doTERRA business. If you're willing to do part of those things, then that's fantastic. Please let me know and I am happy to support you as a sharer. I don't care what you choose because it's your decision and your life. And if you tell me what makes you happy, then I'm totally happy to support you in that role. Now, um, be honest with yourself. If some of that stuff you don't really want to do, then that's okay. Then just let me know because I won't have an expectation of you that you don't want. Um, this is where effective communication comes into play. So if you've just heard that list and you're going, yeah, I can do that, I can do that easy, then great, I'm going to support you as a builder. If you're a bit hesitant about learning any of that and transitioning into being a builder, then that's okay too. And if you're like, no, nah, not going to do wellness consults, then as a sharer, I love you and I, I'm so happy you're on board uh, because I just want to support you guys exactly where you're at, all right? And let's move into supporting yourself as a builder. Now, as we go on this journey, we can feel really isolated and it's really helpful to have a supportive network of people and to know where we can go to actually even meet these people. So in the beginning, when you don't know anybody, I invite you to attend events. This is where you're going to meet people and start seeing regular faces and um yeah, you'll start growing your network, really, and you'll meet people from other teams and um, other support groups, and it, it becomes really important. So I invite you to attend GROW. GROW is held on the first Sunday of each month, and it's a product-based uh, event. It's where people come together just to talk about doTERRA and the essential oils, and you can also purchase books and stuff while you're there. It's, it's really good, actually. I loved, I loved GROW. And... Yeah, you should go. Maylands, Maylands on the first. So just look that one up on Facebook, grow, and head down to one of those. Everyone's welcome, even people that haven't enrolled. Uh, please come to convention if you can. I adore convention and it's going to be held in Melbourne in April and it is where we meet our wider Australian community and New Zealand people come too. And um, you get to hear from lots of leaders and you get to hear from the owners and corporate and you get to hear all the science on the oils, which is phenomenal. There's just something lost in translation when we uh, try and post about the science because I don't fully understand it. So when I try and interpret it to Facebook, you just, yeah, something is lost there. Hearing it for yourself is really important because you get an understanding of how big the community really is and how much effort doTERRA go to to make sure that we have the most pure oils in the world. You also get to hear about their, uh, their Healing Hands Foundation and all of the stuff that they support um, with their background work. And it's phenomenal to be a part of that and to, to learn about co-impact sourcing and look, Two days of convention is is just brilliant. Just come if you can because it will change your life. It honestly will. You'll also meet so many people here and you'll just feel like part of something bigger than yourself and people are phenomenal. I've never met a group of women who have been so supportive. Um, yeah, it's just unknown outside the doTERRA world. 
So if you can't attend convention, then please come to one of the Perth events. Uh, Ness and Paul do have a business training coming up um, on in March, but we do have a recent one coming up on the 29th of January. I hope you can come to that. It's only $10, but that one's run by corporate. So that'll be a really good one to get to. And I will post other trainings as they come along. You've got the um, David Sterling and Dr. Hill one coming as well, which is awesome. Get to that. So if you can just add events into what you're doing, then it's going to help broaden your support network. But then we come to yourself. Personal development is a really critical part of this business. It's an essential oils company wrapped up in personal development. So we need to be developing our mindset and ourselves and our business sense every day. I've worked on this for a few years now and, oh, my gosh, I'm only just sticking my toes into the water and growing as a person and a leader in doTERRA because um, we all have to start from somewhere, I guess, and I didn't learn business before I came along. So don't compare yourself to anyone that has actually done business prior to doTERRA because if you're like me then you will have to learn it while you're in the thick of it and that's all right so I've just used books and apps and YouTube as uh, my learning tools and a couple of the books that I've really enjoyed have been The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, Being the Starfish by Neil Anderson and Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis so you could probably jump on to Audible and get these as an audio book and just listen in. Um, but I'm, I prefer a physical book, so you just find your own method of learning and make sure you're doing some personal development each day, even if it's just a few pages here and there, then just something just to develop that mindset in, in you. Now, understanding the business of doTERRA is critical. <laughs> it's a really important part of knowing what you're doing. If you're starting a business, then you need to understand the business and how you're going to get paid. And we want to make sure that you're getting paid as much as you can be because why do all this work and then don't get paid what you could have been paid? So learning how to structure and place new enrolments for optimal commission Placements is a tricky thing. It's also very personal. So I will teach you what I know. And um, there are a few different methods, but I, I can only teach you what I understand, right? So um, I will give you a basic in knowledge and then you can seek out your own method after that if it doesn't ring true for you. Um, moving forward as you grow, you're welcome to do whatever you want. It's your business and that's your decision. And I will support you in whatever. So business training is a really important one. We need to understand the basics of commission and placements. Okay. So go to the corporate events when they start talking about ranks and commission and structure. Come to the one on the 29th if you can, because I'm sure that they'll talk about these basics there. Come listen to Zoom calls as much as you can. Tap into the business trainings that are online already. You might be able to search on YouTube for lots of business trainings. So go into Ness and Paul's Team Alchemy page and have a look at business trainings there. Jump on Kirsten's YouTube page and have a look. Lisa Zimmer has plenty on the business. So um, if you're wanting to hear from different sources, we all learn from different people. Like you might listen to me and you'll be just not getting it and then you'll switch over to someone else's voice and you'll click. And that's great because we all learn from different people. So I want you all to read the business, uh, the build guide, go through that and have a look. Have a look at the compensation plan and then book a business session with me via Zoom or in person. Happy to do either. So creating your support network of people is also understanding your upline and um, how they are available to us. So each have their own different capacity and where they're happy to support us and um, their, their strengths are all different. So starting to hang around with like-minded people is amazing and you will start to get to know Crossline, what we call Crossline cousins, and they will become friends for life because they are in it with you and they have no impact upon your business and you will just start to support each other. Now, I'm here for you guys in 
any regard, so please let me know how I can support you. Now, Kirsten is our Platinum Leader and she um, holds our wider group and holds workshops for all of us and she is super consistent in her efforts and she is very strategic in her mind. So if you have a similar mindset to her and you want to talk to someone about strategy, then she's amazing to chat to. So you can tap into any of her workshops at any time and you can reach out to her for support. Please check her units in the oily tree because she has put um, oil camp in there for us and she does lots of lots of stuff in the units. So there's plenty of support there. Karen is our beautiful diamond upline. She is our gentle soul, our um, emotional support. She is just so beautiful and she is open for a chat anytime that you need and reach out to her if we can't help you with what you're needing right now. Uh, Ness, Vanessa, she is our mama bear. She's a foodie, so if you love her stuff, jump on Food Alchemy and have a look at her website and tap into some of her recipes and creations there. She's got heaps on that website, so have a look at that. Her and Paul offer us wider support. They have a massive, massive team. They are our double diamond uplines, and so they've gone to presidential and then gone di diamond again. So they've done it twice. <laughs> Paul is our logical strategy mind, but he's very direct yet loving. Yeah, and he'll call you on your shit. So he is open to a chat anytime. If you do want to book in a Zoom with him, you can reach out. So, um, yeah, they do offer us wider trainings as well. And I would like to invite you guys to join their Biz Leaders page. They have um, a Zoom call every Monday night. So this is where our Zoom calls from tonight will transition to a Monday and after two more weeks. And we will listen into their Zooms because they offer so much value on those Zoom calls. It's incredible. And we get to hear from other leaders and there's just so much wisdom and support in that page. And it's just a little bit of support every week for you to tap into. That one hour every week is just really helpful to support yourself knowing that you're not alone in this and um, there's a place that you can ask questions the Biz Leaders group is something that you can write um, business questions anytime you like and the Zoom calls, the recording gets turned off. So at the end of the recording, they open it out to any question so it's not publicised. So we can be asking personal questions, um, in-depth questions or just reaching out for whatever kind of support. So we do all have this option and I would like to invite you all to join this group and I'll send you an invite to that. So where are you all at? How are you all feeling? January can be a tricky month because it's unusual in its time frame and people are away, people are um, preparing for school. It's not a normal routine. So. How are we going with booking workshops? Now, I will be doing Premier Club next month. So if you don't wish to do your own workshops or you haven't joined Premier Club, I'd be happy to come along and either run them for you or run them with you um, as, a, as a support tool for you guys. And it, my presence there also means that your new enrolments will uh, get a free oil, which is super cool. So... Yes, if you want to have a workshop in February, let me know and we'll get it booked on the calendar because I'd be happy to do uh, intro classes or rollers classes or whatever you need. So let's get some done and this will also help you in your learning capacity to obviously hear workshops again and um, even you can do a part of it if you're not comfortable with doing the whole thing. Let's just nut it out together. Um, if you've got some one-on-ones there that you... Uh, want to do and you want me to come along uh, because of Premier Club and you want your friend to get a free oil, then let me know that too because um, happy to do those. Let's get some stuff booked in. So uh, if you are 
wanting a bit more emotional support or you need resources or whatever it might be, guys, just please let me know how I can support you. And, um, yeah, let's just touch base as we go. I've also started posting daily tips on TikTok because it's just a fun little video sharing app. And um, I'm having quite a lot of fun with this, actually. It's not like Facebook. It's a bit more lighthearted. And um, if you're on there and I can throw you a daily tip or two, just follow me under the hashtag doTERRA Australia and you'll see that I've done some videos already. I'm, I'm trying to play with this a bit. So if you've got some ideas for a TikTok, let me know that as well. All right, ladies. Well, um, I'm sorry about the recording nonsense this week. <laughs> this is me showing up for you guys in however it took necessary to get this message to you. So uh, please let me know your thoughts and um, post any comments or questions you have down in the bottom and I'll get back to you. So have a lovely Sunday and I look forward to chatting with you all again soon. Bye.